Senator Margaret Chase Smith of Maine makes the announcement that she will seek the Republican presidential nomination. After a tantalizing slow windup, she throws a quick pitch. As gratifying as are the reasons advanced urging me to run, I find the reasons advanced against my running to be far more impelling. For were I to run, it would be under severe limitations with respect to lack of money, lack of organization, and lack of time because of the requirement to be on the job in Washington doing my elected duty instead of abandoning those duties to campaign plus the very heavy odd against me. So because of these very impelling reasons ag against my running, I have decided that I shall. Emperor Hirohito escorts Queen Fabiola of Belgium at a state dinner for King Baudouin. The Japanese Empress accompanies the King to the banquet hall at the Imperial Palace, where Hirohito hails the relationship between these nations of East and West. This is the first time a reigning European monarch has visited Japan, and there's a toast to future cooperation and closer economic ties. Baudouin, in turn, does the honors and expresses the hope that Japan's trade with the new European common market will bring greater prosperity on a global scale. This is something else to drink to, and again the glasses are raised on high. Then there's a reception attended by 200 guests, those lucky enough to wangle one of the most coveted invitations of the Japanese social season. A king and an emperor, a queen and an empress. The trappings and glamour of a royal affair that recalls days that have all but vanished. Want to get away from it all? Well, here's your transportation, a buggy that will go anywhere. They call it the Marsh Amphibian, a new vehicle of war that is being tested by the Department of Defense in the rugged backwater country of Mississippi. Two buoyant screws on either side propel the strange craft on land or water, and swamps present no problem at all. It will carry you through thick and thin without complaint. A motorist would have little trouble learning to handle this 14-foot swamp buggy that is designed to carry a half ton of supplies or passengers. Although it is primarily an army vehicle, it has its civilian possibilities. How about it? Would you like to order one for your next duck hunting trip? Some people head for Florida and winter vacations, but hardier souls wind up ice fishing from portable cabins at St. Anne de la Parade, Quebec. This year, there are 32 inches of ice to saw through before you have a hole to drop your lines. Once an opening is cleared, a cabin is hauled into place, and you fish from a warm cubby hole with many of the comforts of home. The bait is frozen pork liver, and the fish they are after are tommy cod, a small fish of the cod family that have come 700 miles from the sea to spawn. They come by the thousands, and it's a poor fisherman who can't catch them by the basketful within a few hours. This is a prime winter tourist attraction. On a typical weekend, 20,000 fishermen invade this sleepy town. There's no trouble getting your catch home either. Nature has supplied all the facilities for fast freezing. Who ever heard of a fisherman turning in for the night when they're running like this? $1,000 Strub Stakes at Santa Anita has 13 horses going to the post, including Gunbo, a co-favorite with number three, Lamb Chop. 13 is destined to be an unlucky number for Lamb Chop today. 
When they get away, this champion filly of 1963 is not running well. As Nevada Battler, number seven, takes an early lead with Dunbow, number two, on his heels. With Johnny Longdon on Nevada Battler and Willie Shoemaker on Dunbow, it's a battle of two top jockeys as well as top horses. In the back stretch, Dunbow moves up to take the lead, while back in the pack, there is tragedy. Lamb Chop falls and breaks her leg. The end for a great horse. But the race goes on. Gunbow comes into the stretch with two weeks of daylight between him and the rest of the field. He wastes no time heading home with Shoemaker keeping his eye on the track record. Gunbow does it, too. Equals the track record as he sails across. <laughs> 